Hi and welcome to today's challenge. It is no fluke that today's challenge is following yesterday's challenge, which will stop procrastination. Today's challenge is gain greater food awareness. Now, I say that it's no fluke because the most famous things I hear that are of procrastination are, I will start my diet tomorrow, I will start working out tomorrow, and having been a, in the, an expert in the fitness industry and my first entrepreneurial endeavors, it was something that I heard every single day. And so I bring this raise greater food or awareness as a challenge because I want to talk about something that I, that I believe could be a perception that might help you change everything in your life and your relationship to food. I don't believe in diets. I believe that we should be living a healthy lifestyle ongoing. I believe in moderation and everything. And I believe once we can gain greater food awareness, then dieting does cease to exist in our world because we're living in a place of understanding how food affects us. So instead of looking at something and thinking, I can't have that, it's got too many calories, it has too much sugar, you start to look at food from an empowered standpoint. This was a complete game changer for me. As someone who was a fitness competitor, someone who was having this conversation day in and day out about healthy living, this was a game changer for me when I realized that I shouldn't look at food for what I can't have, but how it affects how I feel. And so once I realized how certain foods affect how I feel, they weren't the forbidden fruit anymore. They weren't something of a scarcity mindset. It wasn't something I couldn't have, therefore I want it more. It was more from a powerful and empowered standpoint where I would look at certain foods and think, I don't have time for that right now. Not that I can't have it, not that I can never have it again, but I just don't have time for it right now. For example, I love pasta. I would never ever think of eating pasta in the middle of the day in a million years. Why? Because I know that 20 to 30 minutes after eating that pasta, I would be exhausted. I'd be worthless at work. My mental clarity would be completely zapped because all my energy would be going to my stomach to try and digest that food. And then I know I wouldn't have as much energy or passion or ambition. I know that I'd be moodier. So I know now that there's a cause and effect to everything that I eat. And everything that you eat, it's a chemical reaction. It's, the, it's an ongoing chemical reaction. Food is a drug. creates a chemical reaction. So I want to empower you to gain greater food awareness so that you start to realize the types of foods that positively affect you. For me, for example, I know my go-to foods are avocados, nuts, bananas, um, hummus. I know that those are the foods that will instantly give me energy, not, I won't need a lot of, they won't deplete my energy. I know that there are foods that raise my mental clarity, therefore I can stay focused on what my tasks at hand were for work that day. And think, start to recognize the foods that drain you. And like I said, these are different for everybody. I said nuts were one of my foods that increase my energy. Maybe someone has a nut, a nut allergy and they can't have that. So you need to start to define what foods give you energy. Start to a food journal where every single time you eat, you take a mental snapshot 20 to 30 minutes later of how you feel after you eat. And then you'll start to see a pattern of I feel exhausted or I feel my emotions are on a roller coaster or I feel amazing like I could take on the world. And you'll start to realize also that the portion sizes of what you eat are a really important part of this equation. If I eat avocado or guacamole at lunchtime and I eat the right portion size, it gives me amazing energy. But if I overeat anything, guacamole, hummus, nuts, any of those foods that I just suggested to you, if I overeat anything, then that will drain my energy too. So this isn't just about recognizing the foods that affect you, but the portion sizes and how they affect you too. And so, but then also, I'm going to acknowledge something that most people don't talk about. They think, I'm just going to have this little piece of candy after lunch. Sugar is the number one thing that affects you because it spikes your insulin and then your insulin drops. It is the number one thing that will deteriorate your energy. People think, I'm going to have some sugar, I need some energy. Absolutely the wrong thought process. If you need to increase your energy, Go for higher fat foods, like some of the ones I suggested earlier. 
Hydrate yourself. Dehydration is the number one reason for feeling tired in this food conversation. Obviously, lack of sleep would be a part of it. Dehydration is something that causes headaches, causes you to feel exhausted, causes you to lose clarity, causes you to lose energy. So when you're feeling tired, think, do I need to drink more water? Do I need to hydrate myself? Do not think, I need a piece of sugar to spike my energy because it might spike it for a few minutes. And then you'll plummet to a way lower place than you've ever gone to that day. Or, I should say, a way lower place than you want to go that day. So, this raising food awareness is so powerful in your ability to be successful. In your ability to be happy, to be the best business person you could be, the best parent you could be, the best partner that you can be, the best in all of your relationships. Food affects your moods, it affects your energy, it affects all of your abilities to do things that you set out to do mentally. If you're not eating the right things and fueling your body properly, no matter how intelligent you are, no matter how great your plans are, it will hold you back from being as successful as that you can be. Obviously this is a topic I could talk about forever, something that I get really fired up about. But I would like you to start your food journal today and start to really gain awareness of the foods that are adversely affecting you and eliminate them to a certain degree. Start to ask yourself that question, do I have time for this? It's an empowered question. It's not giving your power away. I can't have that because it's, do I have time for it? I eat pasta. I love pasta. But I would never eat it in the middle of the day, as I mentioned. I'll eat it at night for dinner in a smaller portion, but it's not the forbidden fruit. It's something that I'm not allowed to have. It gives me a sense of power and control over my choices. I look forward to hearing lots of feedback on this topic. I promise you, if you apply this theory, you will never have to diet again. I look forward to hearing feedback. Have a great day.